esté llorando. The sound of Hispanic music on this street shouldn't surprise you. A lot of Hispanic families live around here. Driving around, it seems like any other neighborhood. But people who live here tell a different story of crackheads and dope dealers infesting their street. Yes, there's lots of crime activity here. I never go outside because the neighborhood is really bad. There's lots of drugs around. There are lots of kids living here, but most of the time their parents won't let them go outside. There's lots of drugs around and lots of police here all the time, so you always have to watch your kids so nothing happens to them. We have uh, drug transactions that go on right in front of kids. You have people selling drugs, people using drugs, shoot, shooting up with needles, smoking crack pipes. All this kind of stuff goes on just right here, right here in, in this courtyard. You don't hear about many of the crimes that happen here in this neighborhood. That's because many go unreported to the police. One big reason for that is people who live here are too afraid to speak up because of retaliation. Retaliation from troublemakers here. But Metro is stepping in to salvage the street. Their plan is to work together with residents and landlords to fight crime and to make this street a nicer place to look at and a nicer place to live. We have been assigned this street. This street is basically I guess you can say it's ours. You know, we, we talk to people, we have told them that you can, I mean, it's gotten to a point where they, they talk to us by, by first name. How long will people and police work to clean up this neighborhood? Both say as long as it takes. Bianca Ferrar, News 3.